Hey folks, uh, Practical Prepper 001 here. I just finished uh, making uh, my sheath, my Mountain Man style sheath. And I'm pretty happy with the results. The only thing uh, for me to do is uh, add a copper rivet here to give it a little bit more retention. I mean, as it is. Very hard uh, with the lighting, but anyways, you know I did all the tooling, all the staining, all the lacing, like everything I'm gonna make. Pretty much, uh, I do all the work, so it's all handmade, and uh, obviously in the USA. But it's all handmade on a personal touch. You know, anything I sell. But anyone uh, buys from me, uh, you should know uh, you're dealing with a uh, manufacturer, seller, and everything in between. I take pride in my work, and I'm happy with it. So. I hope uh, future customers will be as I am. Now, now for the past month, a month and a half, I say uh, I've been uh, very busy. You know, working on a on a web page, on a name for the business, on uh, different projects. You know, leather, and also uh, I've been doing a lot of work on uh, steel. Uh, I ordered a piece of. Uh, 1084 uh, stock, you know, to make uh, my first few blades. And uh, while I while I waited, I got two of these uh, pry bars. You know, you, so you get the idea. You know, pry bar. And I made uh, this is the first knife. I mean, at the moment, you, I really don't call them knives. I call them more like blanks because uh, they're not heat treated. They're not, you know, they're not finished by any means. And uh, you know I've changed the profile on this one a couple of times. It was originally going to be like a regular spear point. Then I was thinking about maybe kind of like a Bowie type of uh, blade profile. And then uh, I ended up with uh, this uh, Tanto. You know, little black. Uh, that's a magic marker that I use. And I was doing you know the grinding, kind of like a Scandi grind on this one. The Ricasso there. You know, I put a lot of hours, a lot of uh, you know. It's been a lot, like I said, a lot of grinding, a lot of uh, hand filing, a lot of sanding to get to this final shape, you know, that I'm happy with. Curve, you know, as you can see here, that curve there, that's pretty much, you know, I, I took a few pictures and I, I kind of did a video, so in the future when the knives are finished, uh, I'll post a new video how I did it. This is going to be a bush. You know, I'm happy uh, how it's coming out. It's very, I mean, they're very strong. I mean, it's high carbon steel, so I'm making knives that uh, to have them and I uh, use them, you know. I don't recommend anybody abuse their knives or, you know, their tools. Like all tools, you take care of it and, you know, they'll take care of you. But at the same time, it's good to know that, uh, that they're built uh, a lot stronger than uh, what they're meant to be, so. And that's my purpose, you know, I want to build, uh, like the name says, you know, practical knives, and at the same time, they're appealing. Now, this right here, this is my, uh, my what I call my bush survival, even fighting knife, if it came to that. So you can see how uh, the pommel uh, sticks out. It's got a five inch blade. I'm keeping them... Uh, I don't want to do them. I don't want to do really like large plates. I want to do something along, you know, five, six inch, maybe even uh, between three and uh, four inches, like this one right here. This is kind of like more like a fighter survival knife too. This is my little ace of spades. Over here we have a. Uh, before I even started making, uh, even thinking about making knives, I was thinking about a tomahawk. Self-defense, uh, utility, practical tomahawk. 
and uh, you know I don't want to give away not necessarily secrets you know they not no secrets it's more like uh, I don't want to give away all the details yet it's just basically giving you a heads up on why you know, I haven't been posting as many videos as I want to hopefully when I start getting you know all these projects finished I'll be posting a lot of videos not just on knives but different things in regards to the business and uh, things that I do you know this one I'm thinking about you just putting a chisel grind. You know, those that know uh, Emerson knives, uh, they know uh, what a chisel grind is. And uh, this one is going to be kind of like a. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use uh, one of my folders now as a size comparison. This is my cryo. And, uh, You can see lengthwise, it's not much difference, but you can see, I mean, this is a tank as compared to my little folding cryo, which is a great little knife, you know, EDC. This one, so you get an idea, this is only a five inch blade and it looks like three times the size already. And almost for the same size, you have a fixed blade knife here. You can count on, depend on, in extreme circumstances. Again, uh, here we have it. Uh, next to the tanto, the tanto I think is a five and a half inch blade. So basically, uh, this is what I've been up to, steel wise. I also have other uh, projects and ideas that I'll be posting videos on. Sum it up. Basically, I'm gonna be working a lot with leather and uh, and knives and you know improvised weapons and weapons in general with a little twist, you know, of my own. I like to what do they, what do they call it? A poetic justice. Well, I like to use that poetic justice in uh, a lot of things I make and give it a touch of uh, or style of my own, so it becomes a part of me. And like I said, everything I do is handmade, so when I sell something, a part of me uh, gives me pride knowing a part of me is out there. And hopefully somebody's putting it to good use. And, and for me, uh, that's value. It has value. It has purpose. So anyways, uh, this is a Practical Prepper 001 uh, out of sight. Not out of mind. Take care, guys.